have so many feelings when it comes to this book, and they're not good feelings, they're very angry feelings, and I feel that every time I talk about this book, I just get more and more angry. So um, stay tuned for the video and watch me get progressively more angry as it goes on. <laughs> All right. Jay, and today I'm here with a very highly requested video from me after my wrap-up video for this month, and that is a rant review for a book I really, really hated, and that book is Hexed by Michelle Chris. If you can't guess, I give this a 1 out of 5 stars, and I'm here to tell you why. So without further ado, let us get started! So this book follows Indigo Blackwood, who is a very, 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 very popular cheerleader. She's dating the high school quarterback of the football team because she is very popular, so obviously she needs to be dating the quarterback. Her best friend Bianca is a total bitch snob and obviously so, so jealous that she's dating Devin. Did I mention he's the quarterback of the football team? Because he is. Indy's neighbor Paige is totally obsessed with her. Even though she's made it clear that she is far too popular to ever be seen in public with Paige, she still really wants to hang out with her. So one day, Paige asks Indy if she could have a ride home because she lives, you know, beside her because they're neighbors. Indy decides, okay, fine, I'll give you a ride this one time because I'm a nice person, you know. While driving Paige home that day, a boy in a leather jacket named Bishop falls from the sky and lands in front of Indy's car. She then discovers that in Bishop's hand, after examining the body, um, he's holding a piece of paper. So she takes that piece of paper, you know, from the crime scene and she unfolds it and discovers that it has the address of her mother's Wiccan shop on it. So upon arriving at her mother's Wiccan shop, she discovers that she's actually a witch and that her mother's Wiccan Bible is missing. And if she doesn't find this Wiccan Bible in the very near future, all the witches in the world are going to die. So she turns to Bishop, the boy who fell from the sky, who was supposed to be dead, who is not dead. And, you know, Paige, who is not cool enough to hang out with Indy, but now that she needs her help, she's totally cool enough to hang out with. And she goes off on this adventure to find this magical witch bible. Yeah, so that's the synopsis of this glorious book. Um, if you couldn't get from my sarcasm, I hated this book. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars, and these are my reasons why. Number 1. I hated literally every character in this book. And for me to hate literally all of them, that is an accomplishment. Indy is just this whiny little bitch, and I swear to god, literally everything out of her mouth was, I'm too popular for this. Why aren't people bowing down to me? Like, I'm a witch. Like, people should be worshipping me. Like, no bitch, shut up. She was just so self-absorbed and annoying and whiny and just everything had to revolve around her. It drove me insane. She mentioned multiple times that she was the third smartest person in her grade, that she had the third highest GPA in her school, but there was absolutely no evidence of her being smart in this book. She was pretty much your stereotypical cheerleader type who just spent the entire book crying about all of her problems, but not actually doing anything about it. You would think that there would be at least a little bit of character development in the, let me tell you how many pages this book is, 369 pages of this book. But no, no, Indy spent the entire book just being a doormat for her friend Bianca and her boyfriend Devin. So I'm just, okay. That, so that's number one, Indy, you fucking suck. Number two would be Bianca. She is probably the worst human being on the face of this planet. I honestly have no idea why Indy wanted to be friends with her in the first place because she was just the biggest bitch queen. I also don't understand why Indy spends so much time contemplating going back to being friends with Bianca the bitch queen because the things that Bianca did to her in this book, I would have been like, a bye bitch. 
we're done forever. Like, as soon as you cross me once, we done. You cross me twice, we done even more. You cross me three times, now I'm just an idiot. But Bianca crossed her, like, 20 times, and she was still like, she's my best friend, I forgive her. Like, no, Indy, girl, make good life choices. And you're not doing that. You're just not doing that. Number three is Devin, the super hot, super sexy, quarterback boyfriend. I do not understand how he was even slightly appealing. He treated Indy like a doormat the entire book, but I don't understand why she kept going back to him. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. It's because he was super hot and you know, he chose her out of all the girls he could pick. He chose her to go to the Jay-Z concert. So that is true love. That's true love. And number four would be Bishop. He is just Whew. He spends half the book just stalking Indy, so like, I mean, obviously that is super appealing, you know? Who wouldn't want a boy to stalk you? But you know, the stalking is no big deal because he is just super hot, right? So like, stalking's fine when you're hot, obviously. The only character I was like slightly okay with was Paige, but most of the time I just wanted to shake her for wanting to be friends with Indy in the first place because like she was treated so poorly and she just deserves so much better and it just Indy and I just oh, I hated all the characters. I hated them all. Quite frankly I just found this book to be completely unoriginal. It's been done a million times. The book dragged on without going anywhere. It was basically just the plot line of a thousand different teen movies thrown into a book. Nothing was working. It was just going around in circles. The world building sucked in this book, aka it just did not exist. The only thing we really know is that there's a war between the witches and the sorcerers, but why? I have no idea, just that there's a war. Who knows? The amount of sexist lines in this book was just so over the top. I lost count after about 50. And the entire book was pretty much just girl on girl hate the entire time. I honestly think that this book is going to teach young girls so many bad things, so I don't know how. It has three to five ratings on Goodreads. Like, I seem to be the only person who really hates this book. Also, there was this random rape scene thrown in there for no reason whatsoever. Like, it made no sense. It was just like, they were all chilling and then, oh, rape! Like, why? What? I don't understand. I do not compute. I hate this book. That is all. I don't even think I'm gonna donate this book because I don't want other people reading it because it was just not good. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this book, but um, yeah, that's, that's my review. So I hated it. Please don't read it. It's a waste of time. All right, guys. So that was my uh, review of that book. Um, I feel like I'm just angry now <laughs> after giving that review. So I'm going to go now. Um, let me know down below if you've read this book and if you liked it because I seem to be the unpopular opinion for this book. A lot of people rated it very high on Goodreads, so I might just be the odd one out. Maybe I was in a bad mood reading it or something, but I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!